it was, you know, a different, it was freer. What about Madonna? You know, back in the day, she was Madonna. She wasn't the Madonna we know today. You know, I know she came in the store often. She came in the store. I wouldn't say often, but I was, of course, happy to see her come in. Um, it, You know, the store, as it progressed, it, it, uh, it became a... Um, Melting pot for a lot of really great people. One of my favorites was Patti Smith, who lived down the block at 1 Fifth Avenue at that time. And uh, she came down my sh and I see this gal in some pink, wrinkled up, whatever. I'm like, oh, who's that kook? And lo and behold, it was her. And she had a an olive green mink coat on her shoulder or something and she threw it down on the chair and it fell on the floor and it didn't matter. I love Pat. I really like, she was one of my all time favorites. Another legend, right? I love her. I don't see her my, anymore, but she'll always have a place in my heart. How did you go from, you know, the store was so successful, you were running a business. How did you get into, you know, costuming for TV, particularly Sex and the City? Well, that's a good question. Well, a friend of mine, Candy Pratt's Price, my phone rang and it was Candy. And she's basically, she was um, at that time, a very successful um, department store window designer. And the phone rings and it's Candy. And she says, I bet I'm in Pittsburgh. I'm doing this. I'm working with this director doing this movie. She was doing the sets. And uh, she asked me if she, if I, she asked Candy if she knew anybody who could do the clothing for the project. And Candy thought of me. And my phone rang and it's Candy and she's telling me about this. And that was the beginning of my costume designing career. Wow. Did you know SJP before Sex and the City? Uh, yes, actually. SJP was the one that introduced me to Darren Starr. And um, I'll always give her that credit because you know, it turned into a wonderful relationship for both Darren and myself. And, uh, you know, she's very professional. She's very professional, but that show, you know, and the the fashion made her literally an international superstar in the fashion world. Like, is it overreaching to say that, you know, you are responsible for her status as a fashion icon? I know that's not fair. I mean, I had some, I played a role in it. It's fair to say that. But she's, you know, a talented person. And um, I think that she really played the role of Carrie very well. And uh, was uh, had a major responsibility in the popularity of that show. But it was well written. It had good actors. It was a really good experience. Could you tell, like, you know, when you sign on to a project like that, you've done so many projects with Darren Starr at this point, but like with Sex and the City, like, could you tell, like, this is something special? Like, is it in the script? Could you tell this could be something that could last forever? No, you know what? I didn't know Darren, but because Sarah Jessica put us together, um, it's funny because I... I, I know I'm a little bit, well, I don't want to, how do you put it? A little, not out there, but, you know, to the left of the world. And um, I, uh, and I, I, when I met Darren, I said, I brought to him um, this book I have of Betty Page, who's like this cartoonish, sexy gal. Yeah. Sex in the City. And I said, but 
please don't think this is what I want to do with it. But I just brought it because just to get you to understand who I am and, you know, where I come from. Of course, I, you know, I wouldn't ever, that book was too, you know, too, too out of control for TV. But I suggest, so, but don't be afraid. I'm not going to do this, but I just want you, to, it's just a way of introducing myself to you and, uh, you know, what catches my eye. And how did Darren Starr respond to that? He understood it because I was really clear because I know that that Betty Page book was pretty over the top. Um, and I, you know, I think it went well because he hired me. And that's, you know, we still have a relationship. And uh, I did uh, recent. The most recent thing I did for Darren or with Darren was in Paris called Emily in, pa uh, pa Emily in Paris. But I did it for two years and I was getting a little homesick. And uh, I said, I have to go home. I mean, nothing against Paris, but home is home. It It's no New York, right? All right. Well, I mean, it's a good city. It, uh, it, I had no problem with it but I was like longing for my poodles I was longing for my apartment my neighborhood and I said I gotta go is Emily in Paris the reason because there was so much about this in the press you know and and just like that came back you know and you weren't doing the costumes was it truly is that all true it's just because you were busy on Emily in Paris yeah I, I couldn't uh you know I I just couldn't do it um I, you know, I couldn't split myself down the middle. It was impossible. And I was committed to Darren uh, for Emily in Paris. And um, that's why it happened. Was there anything, because you were in the business for so long and so established at that point by the time you got sex in the city, but did you learn anything just from that experience that you maybe hadn't known before? From sex in the city? Yeah. Um. Well, you know, I think life is always a learning process. And um, I um, I enjoyed doing, I enjoyed doing Sex in the City because I had these um, four different gals and um, all different, because Darren, he's really good at casting and, you know, I mean, that was my first experience with him. I've worked a lot with him since. And, um, you know, it was uh, all good. All good, really. Did you have a favorite of the four characters to design for? You know, I, it's hard to say a favorite because each actress is their own unique person. So, you know... You, you're attracted to them for what they, who they are and what they have to offer in the way of intellectual quality, creative quality. Um, you know, Sarah Jessica Parker, 